Stoichiometry Practice Worksheet 1, Problem 2. The equation for one of the reactions in the process of reducing iron ore to metal is Fe2O3 plus 3CO yields 2Fe plus 3CO2. What is the maximum mass of iron in grams that can be obtained from 454 grams of iron 3 oxide? Our given here is 454 grams of Fe2O3. Our first step in order to get to the maximum mass of iron is going to be converting Fe2O3 to moles. So for every one mole of Fe2O3, we know that the gram formula mass is around 160 grams of Fe2O3. Then we're going to go to the next step. Now we don't want to be in moles of Fe2O3. We actually want to be in grams of iron. So in order to make this transformation, we're going to do a mole to mole problem. So moles of Fe2O3 to moles of iron. We need to find the numbers that go in this conversion. So if I look at the coefficient in front of Fe, I see that it is 2. So 2 moles of Fe. If I look at the coefficient in front of Fe2O3, we observe that there is an assumed 1. So we're going to have a 1 on the bottom. The final step here is to convert moles of Fe into grams of Fe. So for every 1 mole of Fe, we're going to have approximately 56 grams of Fe. Before I do the math to find my answer, I want to double check my units to make sure that I've set this up correctly. So grams of Fe2O3 cancels grams of Fe2O3. Moles of Fe2O3 cancels moles of Fe2O3. Moles of Fe cancel moles of Fe. And finally, I'm left with a mass of Fe. The other thing to notice here is that my given is to three significant figures. As a result, my answer should also be to three significant figures. So if I do 454 times 2 times 56 divided by 160, I get 318 grams of Fe. Let's look at another problem. What mass of CO is required to reduce the iron 3 oxide into iron metal? We're going to use the same given as we saw in the previous question. 454 grams of Fe2O3, multiplication sign and a line. And again, we want to go from grams to moles of Fe2O3. One mole of Fe2O3 is equal to 160 grams of Fe2O3. So at this point, I've converted from the mass of Fe2O3 into moles of Fe2O3. In this question, they're asking for the mass of CO. So I need to do a mole conversion here. I need to go from moles of Fe2O3 to moles of CO. I'm going to look at my balanced chemical equation at the coefficients. I see that there's a 3 in front of the CO, so I'm going to put a 3 here. We know that there is an assumed 1 in front of the Fe2O3. And then the final step is going from 1 mole of CO, which has a gram formula mass of 28 grams of CO. I want to check my units to make sure that I've set them up correctly. So grams cancels grams, moles cancel moles, moles of CO cancels moles of CO, and I'm left with mass of CO. When I do my final calculations, I find that the answer is 239 grams of CO, which corresponds to the number of significant figures that I started in my original.